I went to VidCon and cool things happened and I'm terrible at taking pictures. So I made an animation instead because that's much simpler. So here are some of my favorite highlights from my trip to VidCon 2015. So I got to Anaheim the day before VidCon and I was lurking around the Hilton lobby like a creeper. I checked Twitter and one of my newer online friends, Lee, from her Only Lee channel, said she wanted to meet up with someone. I tweeted her to meet me at the Starbucks and she arrived wearing a wolf hat. We started talking, but then she started walking and I didn't know what else to do but follow her. We walked right out of the convention area and into the streets of Anaheim before I stopped her and said, where are we going? She paused and looked around and said, oh, you wanna go get some coffee? So we went to a local place, got some frozen coffee, and just geeked out about animation until the sun went down. I love that girl. Lightning round! I met Olga K at her Mooshwalks booth and she recognized me from my art and social media. I met Rusty Clanton and he told me that this doodle I did of him on Twitter ruined his life. I thought I missed my chance to meet Jack's films after his panel, but ended up running into him waiting for the elevator at the Hilton on the last day. The second day of VidCon, I was hanging out with my annoying orange guys at their booth when I heard someone behind me say, Rebecca? I turned around and a gentleman by the name of Ben was standing there. Yes, I said. I watch your channel, I love your videos, he said. I could only imagine the look on my face at that moment. I was like, you, me, selfie, now! I was so ecstatic that someone recognized me for the first time and I just wanted to preserve that moment forever. Ben was such a nice guy and I'm so glad he stopped by to say hello. So at the exhibitor party the second night of VidCon, my friend Shannon was playing Mario Karts on a big giant screen in the exhibition hall. He handed me a controller and I started racing him. I've never played Mario Kart, so I sucked, of course. But then this kid came up behind me and started smack talking me. You suck. Why are you so bad? It's such an easy game. I was getting kind of annoyed by this kid, but after I was done, I handed him the controller and walked away to let him play my brother, David. A few minutes later, David found me and said, you know that was kid president smack talking you, right? No. I didn't know. Side note, my brother beat him at Mario Karts and defended my honor. Lightning round! I met up with my friend Katie Wayne and her entourage of fans and we all ate a food truck lunch while listening to Nick Patera sing. <laughs> Only Lee introduced me to Swoozy and I learned he applied to the same animation school as me and didn't get in. I think he's doing alright though. <laughs> I watched a frenzied mob of people running after, I don't know who, nearly take down the PBS chill lounge in the exhibition hall. <laughs> At the exhibitor party, I was hanging out with Damebo when I spotted Rhett and Link. I was a little starstruck, so I just kind of began staring at them. Dane noticed and decided to take matters into his own hands. Upon meeting Rhett, I just kind of gushed about how much I liked his show in professional talk, and he just kind of received it. Later, at a VIP party, I was eating dinner with Dane and Shannon, and Link just randomly took a seat at our table and asked what was up. And once again, Dane took matters into his own hands. First impressions are important, kids. Last day of VidCon, I was walking around the halls of the convention center when I just randomly happened to walk by Tomska. He had a short line of people waiting to see him, so I got out my book of YouTubers and I got in line. When my turn came, I went up to him and I said, Hey Tom, I'm Rebecca Parham. He looked at me very sincerely and said, I know who you are. Turns out he not only knows me from social media, but he also watches my videos and even knew my explainers and entertainers tagline. I was definitely thrilled, even though I was trying to keep it cool on the outside. He signed my book and we took a selfie with my phone, but then he turned the tables on me and asked for a selfie for his own collection. It made me feel so special and I was so happy to know that someone I admire also likes my work as well. Lightning round! I saw Sean Klitzner again and I met his wife Noelle and their adorable new daughter Brooklyn. And Sean jokingly told me that I couldn't talk to her until I drew her. <laughs> Megan Tonjes. Just Megan Tonjes in general. <laughs> and finally, I saw Markiplier in a restaurant when VidCon was over. He was clearly leaving so I didn't have the heart to stop him. <laughs> this last story really is just the sum of my entire experience because the whole weekend I hung out with the Annoying Orange crew. Danebo, Aaron, Steven, Shannon, Mike, and Derek. I used their booth in the exhibition hall as like a, a home base of sorts, and I talked to their friends and fans like I was one of them. They gave me a lot of their annoying orange swag, and they introduced me to people at all the fancy parties. But my favorite moment with them was when I surprised them with a framed digital painting of all of us together. I pulled it out of my purse, and I showed it to them, and they absolutely flipped 
out. I'm sure we were making some sort of scene. They were so excited over it and just super appreciative. And throughout VidCon, they would periodically bring it up again and just talk about how much they loved it. They really made VidCon special for me and I am just so happy to call them my friends. So that's the long and short of my VidCon 2015. To say the weekend was a blast would be a huge understatement. It's been a while since I've had that much fun, and I just can't wait to return next year. And maybe one day, I'll be the one wearing the fancy featured creator badge. You never know.